I don't think about being a surgeon. You know, I get a little queasy sometimes, but honestly, I like to chop things up. <laughs> you know, I like to splice them. It's okay. <laughs> I'm taking my fourth year Mandarin Chinese this year. And uh, I was actually in China last summer, not, not the summer, this last summer, but two summers ago. And um, I feel like if I was just a, a diplomat, just hanging out in China. And I think throughout finding new energy sources and all sorts of new science ways to fix the world, that we'll be able to create jobs. I'd prefer a job that made me happy over like being paid a ton. I feel like the three roots of it all are cooking, communications, and hygiene. Because if you know how to cook, you can support yourself while you're looking for your job. If you know how to communicate, well that's useless without good hygiene because then you can't never get a job. So I feel like if you know how to communicate and you have good hygiene and you're six foot three and, and handsome. I, I, was actually <laughs> talking with, I was actually talking with my, my friend's dad about this. He's, 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 an, he's a British guy so he likes to rant. So. <laughs> uh, we were talking about how if you're 6'3", handsome and male, you've got a job right there. Because okay. companies like to base themselves based on representation, so they'll, they'll hire based on, you know, like, if, if they think you're good looking, if you're tall, and if you're, you know. So, if you have good hygiene, if you can communicate, if you're 6'3", and a male, well, if you're 6'3", and handsome, good looking. <laughs> and you know how to cook, then you're set. I think flexibility will be important to have as just, not as a skill, but to be able to change your mind and do whatever is needed of you. I think, well, that's important in right now. We need to be flexible in what we want, but I think when we're looking for a job, when we're working for a job, when we're meeting all kinds of people, we'll need to be flexible. And we'll also, um, well, I think if we wanted to be successful, really successful in, um, the uh, world right now to be a science like an uh, environmental scientist right now would probably be your best bet doesn't really interest me but I feel like if you were good at that it would be a great field to get into a lot of technical work has been kind of dropped like the physical you know somebody who like for example in the auto industry like actually works on cars and a lot of people left that to go make computers for cars because that started becoming really popular. It started being something really important for it. And we've kind of come full circle that enough people moved into that part of the industry that now there's like less people actually working on cars and, and there's going to be a need for that again. And soon that's going to be become a, a more well-paid job because there are less of those people and more people are going to try and go into it and then the same thing will happen. Um, but I, I think a lot of hands-on work is going to start being needed again. I kind of think about our teachers that we have at school because they kind of like chose the path to like educate younger people, you know, making a better future. And I definitely admire that. Like, I'm actually not into teaching. Like, whenever I think of myself as a teacher, I couldn't do it. But I don't know. I just admire them for like what they've done for us. And I don't think we appreciate it all the time, but we really should. I'm not really sure like of a certain person, but. Just anyone who knows like really what they want out of life, I think, is really impressive just because they always knew what they wanted and were able to go after what they wanted. I just never really known what I wanted. So.